Hey folks, Just May Sabora here. I'm going to put on hold with all the Terminator films uh, to review. But right now, I want to do a review of a Peanuts series that just came out recently on a new streaming service called Apple TV Plus, powered by Apple, called Snoopy in Space. Yeah, I finally got a chance to see this. It's a new 12 animated shorts, all put together in 8 minutes total with the first episode being nine minutes total or directly eight minutes but if you put it all together this is not like a Charlie Brown Snoopy show which is only like 24 minutes uh, each episode or or in some cases the This is America Charlie Brown the miniseries which is only eight episodes in that particular total this is basically like uh, the Peanuts comic strips uh, short subjects that they had like five minutes or six minutes uh, put together as episodes and segments to total up to like 22 minutes but this one however is only like eight minutes total so it's so it splits up like little mini movies but if you actually put them all together it'll be like a feature length film in that sort of way and no this is not a sequel to the Peanuts movie from 2015 uh, nor the the first four theatrical films before Peanuts movie. No, this is uh, quite different. Um, it's a story about Snoopy fulfilling his dream of of embarking his next big adventure by becoming an astronaut for NASA. So that way he gets to explore the moon and beyond. Joins him with his best pal Woodstock. And he's trying his best, and he joins in with um, Charlie Brown and the rest of the Peanuts game to actually explore and do whatever he wants. Um, we also got a computer by the name of CARA, which it stands for NASA's Computerized Astronaut Recruitment Advisor. Yeah, which is a computer that can actually tell um, Snoopy and Woodstock what to do. So he's like uh, his teacher. And ha having to do exactly what she says. Which basically she has a phrase of of all the other Peanuts games out there. Just under a blue screen. <laughs> I started um, so hard trying to find Apple TV Plus on Amazon Fire Stick TV. Um, in fact, just recently uh, my sister just got a new um, generation model. It's the second generation, and that's the one that carries Apple TV Plus, among other ones. The ones that I'm using now, which happens to be the one for the family that we had since 2015, it doesn't carry Apple TV Plus at all. They do carry some new uh, apps here and there, but they just don't carry that. So that's why we had a difficult time trying to sign up for it or download the app. And I mean, it's easy though, but it's just, this is like the only way we get to watch it, so, it's such a shame. So, what happened was, um, we signed up for Apple TV Plus, um, first as a seven day uh, free trial. We only had to watch two episodes at first, but then we had to find a way to watch the rest of it, so we had to sign up, because uh, it cost like four 99 which is five bucks a month to to check out the service i um, not only that we have snoopy in space but we also have like several other movies and and tv programs uh, like the morning show or dickinson or, or even a movie called the banker they also carry like other um, tv shows from other uh, pay tv networks or cable networks or any other kind so they carry those as well so this is a a new streaming service just like Netflix or Hulu or of course more narrowly Disney Plus which that's coming out uh, later on so, um, it has some nice selections but I just hope that seeing that this is the a new start of the servers. I just hope we do get more. But this is the main reason why we sign up for it is 
just so we could watch Snoopy in space. You know, as a Peanuts fan, that's what I'm looking forward to, and I'm glad. Because I was collecting all the toys from McDonald's uh, Happy Meal. So I'm happy to keep up with it, and I just want to support something that's very special. So, okay, anyway, it stars Terry McGarren as Snoopy. Yes, uh, trying to become a dead ringer for <laughs> Bill Melendez. Uh, Ethan uh, Poligato as Charlie Brown. Rob Tinkler as Woodstock, also a dead ringer for Bill Melendez. Christian Del Dasso as Franklin. Isabel Leo as Lucy. Holly Gorski as Marcy. Hattie Granton as Sally. Isis Moore as Pepper Patty. White White as Linus. Nicole Breyer as Cara. And Milo Tori McGibbon as Rerun. It's actually created by Craig Schultz. You know, joined by that's based on the comic strips by Charles M. Schultz. I'm gonna start with the episode Mission One, which is called The Application. This is where Snoopy was dreaming that he was fighting with the Red Baron, you know, dressed up as World War One flying ace. He suddenly spots a rocket was blast off going all the way into space and he suddenly floats around all the way until suddenly he fell all the way down back to earth and landed at Woodstock. Then Charlie Brown was rushing in to give him some breakfast because he was late for his uh, school play which involves um, space and focusing on the planets and all this other information. Snoopy suddenly follows him because he was very curious about space alone but Lucy however stops him from entering the school so yeah he kicks him out along with Woodstock because they're not allowed to bring animals to school yeah but hey that's part of the rule, and I know Lucy's a, <laughs> a jerk. Anyway, Snoopy sneaks in with Woodstock and watches the play to see how it turns out, and then, which has the entire game, you know, Charlie Brown, along with Linus, Lucy, Franklin, Pepper and Patty, Marcy, and Sally, you know, all talking about uh, everything about space. So, Snoopy got so uh, excited about that that he was determined to go to space to blast off from his doghouse, but no such luck. Then, um, Franklin actually states to uh, Snoopy that if you apply for NASA, you'll become a, an astronaut. And that's what he did. He, he signed in an application to send in from NASA hoping that he'll be able to return you know, a couple days from now. And when he finally receives the letter, that's where he felt pretty disappointed and sad that he was he just couldn't uh, be able to enter because um, they didn't meet uh, their standards at the time. So, Well, suddenly uh, Sally spotted something uh, underneath the letter which it discovers tickets to, to go to the Space Center in Houston, Tex uh, in Houston, Texas. But Snoopy is feeling very sad until he overheard what Lucy said that it's not like he'll be able to sneak into the astronaut training program. Well, apparently that became his idea somehow. As they all went inside the bus going all the way to Houston, Texas, but they left Charlie Brown behind, so he has a chase after them, <laughs> saying, wait for me, <laughs> of course. So we get to the next episode, which is called Mission 2, called Mission 2 Training. 
And in this episode, just when the whole game had went all the way to NASA in Houston, and they finally made it, Snoopy and Woodstock were scheming in to, to go straight into the astronaut training facility. And once they arrived, they got thrown out. Charlie Brown found Snoopy, covering to say that he was uh, being rejected to enter. So he calms him down, you know, telling him that, you know, he had his faults, but he never gave up. So he'll probably do the same for Snoopy, that if he failed once, you could try it again. And that's what he did. So he found a better way to sneak in. Because he did got caught um, on camera. That's where everyone's trying to find <laughs> where uh, Snoopy and Woodstock were. You know, you can see how scared he was um, when the alarm went off. And yeah. So that's where we meet uh, a computer named Kara, which is known simply as Computerized Astronaut Recruitment Advisor which is a, a teacher for, for Snoopy to, to recruit since he was in a very secure area and everyone would, which of course everyone would be in big trouble. The only way for Snoopy to enter was, well, Carr decides to help him, teach him to actually learn how to be more smart and intelligent to, not to mention an expert, to actually become an astronaut. And so at this rate, well, he decided to dress up, uh, actually trying to uh, fool uh, Kara by wearing a, a fake mustache. He later starts to uh, read piles of books, you know, trying to become as smart and intelligent as ever. Meanwhile, the rest of the, the Peanuts gang have once up at Space Center where they're just going around exploring you know, going through all these telescopes and other stuff that they have included. They also end up having some ice cream bars uh, that <laughs> Sally actually picked up. Charlie Brown finally made it, even though he had to be stuck outside in the rain, hoping that Snoopy will get out along with Woodstock, because Charlie Brown could get in. He had trouble. I know. Charlie Brown's always get into situations like this, but whatever. So anyway, um, Kara had to um, try to find ways to um, have Snoopy, even though he was very shocked when he found out uh, through the disguise, that even though he's been spending time training, doing all this other s stuff that he needed to do, well, so that he'll be ready to go off in space, well... Yeah. Carr finally accepts um, after all the trouble he's been going through with Woodstock. So now uh, he joins in with uh, the rest of the Peanuts gang, so that way they'll keep an eye on him once he enters. And once we in once we get to uh, <laughs> Mission Free, uh, the graduation, because uh, I mean he graduated uh, after having discovered his true identity, but he needs to. He needs to do all of his work in order for him to provide for the becoming a NASA astronaut and be able to enter space. And that's what he was doing. And that was mission free called training. So now uh, we get to mission four, which is welcome to the ISS. Uh, that's where he blasts off for the ISS. Uh, it's very inside the rocket so now he's launched into orbit and ready to go straight to the moon but once he was inside the rocket he was just spending time with Woodstock you know trying out uh, what they have inside the rocket like going you know just doing all these uh, exercises or falling asleep when which Snoopy of course built his doghouse out of all the materials but of course there's zero gravity included, so that's why he keeps floating around with Woodstock. So Kara just tells him that, well, there's a better way to uh, fall asleep is inside those 
in one of those uh, sleeping bags that they have that's suited for astronauts. They were both asleep, but then suddenly uh, something went wrong was when Woodstock was snoring, but Snoopy was but Snoopy was trying to put on some muff headphones so he won't hear that. But that just went out of the way, and then suddenly uh, uh, Woodstock winds up going all the way up in space. So yes, so Snoopy was up there. Uh, with the help of the rest of the Peanuts gang to communicate with him to actually uh, pull uh, Woodstock um, outside because he's being caught by the the rope I mean, and, and then but Snoopy had to dress up as the astronaut to save him uh, next thing you know they also had to bring uh, food well at this rate they brought cookies and chips but that's not allowed because it, it's going to cause some problems since it's zero gravity. So the only way they had to eat was to use those tubes um, that's included. Uh, joined by there's there's a huge crew of, of birds all look like Woodstock. I mean they're joined by but they have done some a lot of crazy stuff. By the time we get to uh, <laughs> uh, mission five which is uh, I never promised you a space garden. Uh, this is where where they're trying to protect uh, the garden that they had to grow through um, uh, through all yeah through light uh, through sunlight at this rate they use uh, all these uh, special lights that they got so once they water all the plants um, in an easier way well they had to put in all these lamps uh, to light it up and that way they'll be able to grow as as fast as they can so they can make some vegetables you know like carrots or yeah, cabbage or <laughs> certain kinds of vegetables that they have that's grown from the garden but what happened was all the birds started to take all the vegetables and they're about to eat it Snoopy and Woodstock was trying to find a way to stop them and they're trying to find a way to put them in a safe area so they won't get there but yeah, the birds were so troublesome. Well, Snoopy and Woodstock were tr tricking them into putting them in a in a different area so they can escape. But next thing you know, um, well, Snoopy and Woodstock finally found uh, the vegetable so they can put it back. But Kara was very surprised, even though they were both afraid that you know they went they were both going to get caught, you know, get into trouble. Um, so that's um, that's what happened. But then the birds, of course, come back and they start taking all the rest of the food. They took the cookies to join in. So now they they had uh, a snack together, which is potato chips, because <laughs> that's the only thing they can have at this point. I know that was difficult. Now we get space sleeping. Uh, but now we get mission six, which is space uh, sleepwalking. So yes, uh, that was the one I was talking about, where where Snoopy had to save uh, Woodstock. Oh, this is going on. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's hard to keep up. Um, so yeah, but after um, that mission, that so anyway, as uh, we continue on the mission, though, that's where. Um, He's on the journey on Orion, where uh, this is where he returns to Earth and earns a chance to go on the bis biggest mission of them all by going all the way to a trip on the moon, because that was just part of the uh, the test that he had to take. So it, it was like a practice test. So now he's finally going to get onto the moon who. Um, Orion, which is a, a rocket ship, so he'll be able to be able to remember all the steps that he did, you know, while training or doing all this other stuff. And then finally he's on his way with Woodstock, and that's when Mission 8, Crater Crash, where they finally uh, made it straight to, to the moon as soon as possible. 
Um, with uh, the rest of the Peanuts gang on Mission Control, I mean, they're, they're trying to see what, what Snoopy and what Stalkers are going at, um, even if they're going for a lot of troubles here and there, but at least at the end they help them out. So they had to spend like, you know, a couple months to, to stay in. <laughs> well, you know how it is. Okay. So when they finally made it to the moon, um, when we get to mission nine, the searching for moonwalks, uh, yeah, they're just like discovering them um, as we speak. We finally found the footprints of astronaut uh, Neil Armstrong, which has been there since uh, 50 years, 1969 to be exact. Yeah, the summer of 1969, and that's where um, Snoopy just continues with Woodstock to riding on <laughs> the tractor, just going to like certain places, you know, just fooling around, listening to music, um, making all these prints, and you know, it's like uh, moon angels or any other kind. Yeah, they they just like having fun. Only, only one problem though was that they got lost. So the only way to find them back to where they're at, yeah, going back to the rocket that they landed on, was that they had to follow through the moon rocks. And that's where you see moon rocks of, of Woodstock, or at this rate, pretty much all the birds, you know, the bird heads all created by Woodstock. So in order to make it back home. And that's what happened in Mission 9, right, which is the searching for moon rocks. Oh boy. Uh, but anyway, he does continue to go on. Um, before he had to go back um, home to where he is, um, before all this had happened, uh, Snoopy and Woodstock was also playing golf because of what happened in 1971, you know, where another astronaut had came and actually testing out um, the moon, where seeing that one. Since, since we have one astronaut that walked on the moon, the first uh, person to do so, well, they have another astronaut to actually play golf on one of those uh, moon holes that they had to see if, if it actually uh, <laughs> works. And it looks really cool. So Snoopy was doing that exactly, uh, joining in with Kara. So they were having fun, but they got into bigger trouble, well, <laughs> here and there. Um, so they finally started to make it back home. They also got stuck too from the, the tractor. Even though he has to go back into the rocket for only like, since he only had a minute left to, for launch, well he has to draw like something special so that way he won't forget. And what do you know, <laughs> he didn't forget. So once he finally made it back home, um, hoping that Charlie Brown and the rest of the game will arrive. Yeah, they arrived on, on the boat. Um, Snoopy uh, made it uh, through the sea, got back, and this is where um, Snoopy and Woodstock gave Charlie Brown a surprise, which, yep, and I'm going to say it. It's a moon that has a face of Charlie Brown. And that's what happened in Mission 10. Uh, you're a good moon, Charlotte Brown. <laughs> yeah. So now for Mission 11, um, it's just going to be another mission that he was planning on doing, which this time he wants to explore Mars. Uh, but sad to say, um, they don't allow him to because, uh, again, they're not, they're not ready for it yet. So, so that's why. So he was feeling very disappointed that the penis gain suddenly cheers him up in Mission 12, which is Mars or Bus, because I know Snoopy was trying to find a way to, to actually go through his doghouse to see if maybe there's a way he can make it there. Um, but seeing that he couldn't go to the NASA space program to, to go to Mars, well, they decided to um, help him out, you know, try to... Well, try to 
make it look like uh, he was he went straight to Mars, where he's discovering Martian, all this um, sand and dust and stuff. I mean, see what Mars really looked like compared to, to the Moon. But uh, well, that didn't work out. But then Charlie Brown decided to come up with a plan to help um, him out by calling out Kara see what kind of materials that they have to bring for Snoopy so that way he'll be able to to cheer him up and yes it turns out to be a rocket but it's not a big rocket it's basically a prototype that happens to be a model they try it out and it works but then of course <laughs> got eaten by the kite eating tree Well, but in the end, you know, Snoopy was, was happy after feeling so miserable that he couldn't go to Mars, but at least, no matter what, I mean, Charlie Brown had helped him out, and, and he was happy. So at least maybe later in the future he'll be able to explore. So that's where he imagined himself, you know, riding on his doghouse, yeah, dressing up as the World War One flying ace to enter Mars. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, I gotta say, it was really impressive uh, for this entire uh, series, and really love it. Love the animation. Definitely uh, is totally painstakingly wonderful. Definitely exactly how it's supposed to look throughout all the previous uh, Peanut specials and movies that we had. I mean, it's amazing how this was all done on digital all done in digital uh, ink and paints and and needs a lot of creativity to make it look exactly like um, how they come to life it did an impressive job I mean this was done by Wild Brain because they had recently been working on all these uh, shorts uh, on their website also joined with Snoopy yeah if you go on YouTube uh, there's a YouTube channel for so if, if you ever watch like like if you sign up for Snoopy on the channel you get to watch all your favorite shorts uh, that they put some really interesting new shorts and I know I've been sharing it on Facebook a lot too as you can see um, so even though it looks quite different from many of the others they almost look more sexy-ish types it's very educational so you get to learn a little bit more on exploring planets and moons and the discovery of them all and, and orbits and several others that you get to do while you're in space I mean that's something that we can learn about but it definitely works for the kids and parents I mean they teach kids uh, about space and, uh, astronomy and all of that but this one actually looks um, a lot better and, and incredibly stunning the way it is and it's very funny I mean I'd love to see what Snoopy goes on his next dream and his biggest adventure with his friend Woodstock even though they go into bigger trouble and stuff and nice to see Charlie Brown in the rest of this game you know and the rest of the game just helping out and I love the computer Kara um, Basically, your teacher right there, just helping you know, Snoopy out. Almost looks like uh, Frida <laughs> underneath that face. So I, she, she's also, uh, you know, I guess you could also say, you know, for a computer, she's also very uh, intellectual and, you know, she's kind of a quirky type if you think about it. But nevertheless, you know, she's also smart. So this was her. This is the guy for Snoopy and Woodstock to actually embark on the journey. And it's nice to see some funny scenes here and there. Um, there you go. <laughs> but anyway, um, I know I gave it away, but I had to. But I think you're gonna love this anyway. I mean, if you love all these specials and 
all, all this other stuff that we got uh, from Peanuts. I'm pretty certain you're going to love uh, Snoopy in Space. I mean, this is for all Peanuts fans or non-Peanuts fans alike. So, so um, if you want to see Snoopy in Space, um, you got to sign up for Apple TV+. Plus. It's uh, $4.99 a month for the subscription. But you can also sign uh, a seven-day free trial. Um, if you want to sign up for a year of subscription, um, it only costs forty-nine ninety-nine, fifty bucks. So, I mean, if you want to be able to keep it uh, for other programs to show up and maybe get to watch more of Snoopy in Space and um, watch it over and over, <laughs> and hopefully other stuff is going to go in, then you're in luck. Um, but it's definitely uh, worth the wait. I waited this long, hoping that this is going to be very special. Because, you know, I, I do want more peanuts in my life. <laughs> I want more Charlie Brown, more Snoopy, and more everything. So, so uh, check it out. So anyway, that's Snoopy in Space, and I give it an incredibly excellent five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora. And I'll see you later. Bye.